Hello. Right, I just wanted to do a real quick video to talk a little bit about the Ultralight that's just released today. It's a modular platform and we'll talk more about those modules in the next coming weeks really. I'm going to start releasing them gradually um, as they go. You've already seen the SMG one and the DMR. Uh, there is the Maglock version as well, which will be coming out. That's for, like the Elite 2.0, it's the upgraded version. So it's a different platform. You've got the Ultralight base platform, which is this one, and then you've got the Maglock uh, platform, which is obviously it's a magnetic release, so it's got a whole different uh, framework. It's still modular, you can still add bits or take it away, but it's it's got its own framework. So um, for the Ultralight, I absolutely love this gun. It's I had a con I overheard a conversation actually in contractors and it was somebody talking about a physical gun stock and they they were asking them and saying well it's good for shooting but how do you switch to pistols and they were saying do you know what I said they don't really switch to pistols even though they've got the ability to they don't bother and um and I actually thought about myself and I realised I didn't I don't really switch to pistols either or grenades because even though I can even with mag magnets it's quite quick it's still fiddly and in a split seconds it takes you to reattach and that it's just it's just clunky so to be honest I'd more or less just use the rifle on time and that got me thinking why don't I design something where it's mostly just the rifle but when I came up with this design it was so lightweight um, it actually let me use like the pistol and the grenades um, with it still attached and it was perfect so I could suddenly have all this utility um, whilst having the physical presence of a gun stock but then if I need to, like in Population 1, if you need to quickly res somebody with the defibrillators or you need to climb up the ladders or the, the buildings, you can do that and then quickly transition into a two-handed weapon. Uh, it's the same for grenades, say for in onwards, for example, if someone's, if someone's closing in on the objective and you need to defend it quick, if you've got the rifle up, you can quickly drop it, get a grenade, underarm, throw it, and then get your rifle back up quick. Same for your tablet, it's just, all, it's just easier than trying to unplug a, a gun stock. And I just found it quite liberating. Um, obviously there's different modes. The SMG is a little bit heavier, so you can throw probably medium range uh, without putting too much torque on the controllers because the weight for this all sits roughly in the center, just the way it's distributed. Um, so you can get really good speed on the throw. So you can overarm throw or baseball throw. It probably works best. Most of the grenades work best underarm anyway. I don't know if you've tried that in like Onward or Pavlov or Contractors. You tend to get the best effect underarm and the more, more accurate. I can't stop to put it down, it's just great. Every time I jump on there, I'm on there for hours. Uh, it's, it's just like you haven't got a gun stock at all. It's, it's, it's very cool. I just thought of something else I need to say. The length is actually adjustable um, without having to screw it in. So for instance, if you want to use like the P90 in a game, it's just stiff enough that you can slide it along so you can make the front grip really close together so this gives you some really interesting options so not only can you have like shorter guns like the p90 is ridiculously short but all different types of smgs and into rifles and you can even extend it right out to use like the pkm which is notoriously quite wide but you can actually use the pkm like this now what you do is you, you have a reduced stock length because the PKM is kind of quite weird and onward and it's uh, really high up, the sights are really high up, it doesn't really matter because you can still use it here and see down the sights, which are quite high. You haven't got to be tucked right in. So you can use all the guns in the game with this stock. So don't think that it's not adjustable. Um, just because you can bolt it in one position, it doesn't mean you have to use it like that. I tend to use it a little bit forward because you don't notice how close the grips are in game, but it gives you a really good pivot point it just feels really good. So when you're quickly transitioning into a grenade, you can, I don't know, it just feels the balance is nice, but you'll find out what's, what's good for you. Some of you might actually prefer it to be more in the center, um, which is good. I mean, again, you can adjust the length of pull. You can also set the rear stock in three different positions, but really you just want it on the maximum. Um, I haven't ruled out the idea of making an adjustable ultralight stock, but it kind of defeats the object. Really, you just want it locked in a single position and then you always know where you are. It's just, it just becomes second nature. And this fits all the guns in Pavlov that I'm using, the automatics, and the guns in Onward, and uh, Contractors, obviously Contractors has got the adjustment, and uh, Onward's getting that adjustment as well. So there's no real issues there, but I played a, um, Population 1 with this, and it was, <laughs> it was really good. Again, all the guns just fit. 
because roughly in games you know your hands are going to be in the same position, the, the developers know that. Uh, apart from games like Sniper Elite where they just messed it right up. And it's just, I don't know what they did with that. But for, for the games that we know and love, the, the main shooters. Oh, one more thing I thought about. When you want to remove the controller, it's removable zip ties. Now, they don't take overly long to do, so if you, if you sort of count from now, it probably takes less than a minute to actually take these off. And it's a little bit fiddly, I suppose, but so far I haven't found a better system because it's just so lightweight and strong. This controller lip just fits right over the ultralight stock, so you haven't got to mess around undoing any of the settings. Um, so I, I keep it attached all the time because that's all I play with really as, as first person shooters, but you're probably talking about less than a minute really to detach this, so don't think you're kind of locked in for life if you do play other games, so that's probably worth pointing out. Thanks. I can't think of anything else to highlight, so see you on Twitter or I'll see you online. Thanks.